so guys i'm i am santosh devnath and welcome to tutorial villa so in this tutorial we will create an admin panel so that admin can access the epin request sent by user as you know pre in the previous chapter we just created the epin request for us as you can see here the all the status is open now so now we need an admin panel so that admin can access this epin request and take action for this epin request so first of all we need an admin template to handle admin so just go to start to bootstrap and we want an admin panel so as you can see in the in the menu section if you go above here you can see admin and dashboard and here you will see there is a very good admin panel already created here for us and and just open this one because uh, this one is created in angular so we have to open this one and just uh, download it to your system just click on free download and it will be start downloading after download extract it and upload it to your server or if you are working offline then just copy paste it to your uh, http doc inside folder or in your project folder so i am so i already uploaded this file i just created an admin folder at here at the very above as you can see here i created a admin folder and inside admin folder i just uploaded all the files as you can see here you need to just create an admin folder inside your project folder and then upload all the admin files here right you will get the admin files from here click on free download it will download then upload it to your project folder inside admin folder so i already uploaded it now now if i open this file as you can see here was our file and if, if i here open so my url will be here is my project location and slash admin slash index dot html if it is coming for you also it means you are doing it very well so well done now we are here now we have our admin panel now we just need to make it from static to dynamic because everything here is just static content it becomes very easy for us because we don't have to we don't have to invest our time in designing all the designing part is already done we just have to implement our logics here so first of all we need a home page for admin so assume this is our home page we will create just this home page for us okay so what we can do is that if i open this file index.html in my editor core editor it is just opening opening it is okay oh no we have to open the file inside this folder dist as you can see dist and now just open the index.html file and it will be our home page so we will create a home.php file inside our admin folder so go one folder above click here and and here inside the admin folder just create a file home.php and here is our admin home as you can see if i click if i do here you go uh, and we can write this is admin home and if i run this code from to here okay wherever you want admin slash home dot php file okay it is okay 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 i have to do another thing for my own it is not fair you just for me i have to make some permission to access the file also it is for me not for you if i refresh now as you can see we this is admin home now 
it is great we have done now we have to copy the content of index.html file to home.php file so just go here and copy index.html file to home.php here it is now save and and execute this okay 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 now the styling is not working because the path of the styling and scripting were different because we are now in a different folder so we have to make the changes for styling and scripting also so we will start from the styling here so where we are for this style where we are we are inside admin folder and and it wants css and under style.css so first of all we will check where this file exists actually this file exists inside this folder dist inside test so what we will do we will just we will just make here a, a path like dist dist slash now it should work just copy and paste it and paste it for every styling uh, what we styling we have this we have changed already here it is it is coming from a cdn so we don't need to change it is also coming from cdn and uh, i cannot see any other and now let's see for scripting any scripting is there okay there are lots of scripting so this is from cdn cdn okay here is the script here we have to paste the path of dist folder and any other yeah here also dist dist and anonymous dist is there dist is there dist is there and i said dist so here we have done now just save it and execute it now we have our admin home page in the next video we will create our login page so that admin can log in then admin can see this home page thank you for watching this video see you in the next part